Hello, this is Hawker Bean, and today we're going to be reading SCP-3999. This SCP is going to seem a lot similar to a different one that we've already read. That I think was 49.99, or something like that, I forget. I'm not sure how long this is going to be, but I do know that it will be a little bit difficult to read. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Let us go then, you and I. When the 11 day empire eats the sky, like a humanoid, melting like clams upon the breakfast table. I remember SCP-3999. Object class, Apollyon, which means uh, in the SAP destroys not only the box, but the entire world along with it. If we're going to use the box method. Special Containment and Procedures SCP-3999 cannot be contained at the present moment and currently poses a ZK class end of reality scenario. The most advisable course of action is for researcher Talleyron, believed to be the focal point of SCP-3999, to remove himself from contact with all Foundation sites and personnel to avoid further collateral damage to Foundation property. Is there as if researcher Talleyron is contained in an extremely secluded area, the destruction, the destructive capabilities of SCP-3999 will temporarily cease stricken out. Stop stricken out. To be contained. Stricken out. Preserve some remnants. Stricken out. The most advisable course of action is for researchers to learn, believed to be the focal point of SV 3999 to remove himself from contact with all human populations to avoid further collateral damage to the Earth and its societies. Is it right that if researchers to learn, is from here until the end of the paragraph stricken out? Turning himself quickly in a secluded region, then SV-3999 will be decommissioned. Researcher Tolleran, from here until the end of the sentence, stricken out, cannot leave the Foundation. The most advisable course of action is for Researcher Tolleran, believed to be the focal point of SCP-3999, to move himself in contact with all animal life to avoid further collateral damage to the Earth and its biodiversity. ESRSF Researcher Tolleran is to stricken out, out until the end of the sentence. Live out the rest of his life in a small shack aside from all animal life and as much li plant life as possible. Research is currently continuing as how to negate the effects of SP3999. Current proposals include, from here stricken out, launching get into the sun. And I do want to Specify when it's freaking out because it's not everyone who's watching the screen. Researcher Tolerance family is to be summarily executed one by one. The process is to be carried out by trained agents selected from a variety of mobile task forces, including MTF Omega 8, MTF Lambda 12, MTF Site 7, MTF Tau 5, and MTF Iota 10. These agents are to be retrained in military tactics and special weapons and tactics maneuvers. Agents assigned are to score above 30 on the e hair psychopathy e checklist. Agents assigned are to execute researcher tolerance matter first, followed by his father. Any animals present in the e building are to be terminated. Then they are to proceed to the location of researcher tolerance sister, currently a student at Penn State University. That should not be public because who knows what people do. She's been uh, e executed by any of, followed by any of her roommates currently present in the building. Termination to occur via a single shot to the forehead, via a Remington 700 sniper rifle fired at close range, and equipped with a silencer. That is oddly specific. This entire sentence is written out. The corpses are then to be nailed to the wall outside to research tolerance offices and lit on fire after being doused with exactly 10 liters of gasoline. Research is hard on is to be a restrained and made to kneel in front of the corpses. Wow. That is incredibly specific and probably not 
Probably a good thing it's stricken out. SCP-3999 is classified as a research of tolerance colleague such as early executed one by one. The process is to be carried out by a trained agent select from a variety of containment specialists. Psych cafeteria workers I split arsenic into smear into the meals of all staff who have had any contact with researcher Tolerant. This last part of the sentence is stricken out, up to and including members of the O5 Council. You can see why they struck that out. A representation of SCP-3999 is being placed on a pedestal made of pure granite and modeled in the Ionic style. This pedestal is to be placed directly in the center of a 5 a meter by 5 meter square concrete containment chamber. The vault is to be protected by, stricken out from here on, no fewer than two armed guards trained in the resistance and containment of info hazards at any given time. Stricken out sentence saying SCP-3999 cannot be contained. SCP-3999, alongside research tolerance, will be delivered to the server's hand as a gift. All server's hand operatives are to be informed that SCP-3999 is a fitness, is a fifth is artifact of great importance. Research tolerance will be injected with the Class C amnestics to give given the cover story that he is Brian Frederick Ekbandiski, a high-ranking fitness leader. This sentence circuit now. All service hand operatives are being informed that SP3999 and Resistor Tolerant are not to be separated under any circumstances. Here we get a lot less stuff being stricken out. SCP-3999 is to be contained and with SCP-2432. The result of this containment procedure has resulted in a dimensional anomaly opening up within SCP-42. 2432, I mean, in the form of a 3 meter by 25 centimeter by 25 centimeter crawl space. It is exited SCP 2432 1, leading through the wall in a corner of SCP 2432. It's only obscured by the television stand. When its crawl space is accessed, it leads to a space identical to SCP 2432 in layout, decor, and anonymous effects. Next room from SCP-2432 lacks the exit of this cross space and auto similar layout. It's not a perfect duplicate of SCP-2432 as the egress of SCP-2432 is... Uh... Wow, what is going on? Currents in this duplicate room. Open it onto the wall, there are no windows. SCP-2432-1 interior is construction of normal steel plates as found in the redacted hotel's ventilation system as the only break in the pyramid weave. High concentrations of iron nickel consistent with those found in type 3 iron meteorite were found in two plates at each end. Three of fractal patterns were found on those on these end plates drawn in permanent marker ink. Are you with me so far? Because it doesn't make sense to me either. The door of the identical SCP-2432 at the end of SCP-2432-1 leads not to the true hallway of the redacted hotel as SCP-2432 Uzor does, but to enter an alternate reality designated SCP-2432 Prime. Upon initial observation, SCP-2432 a 432 Prime resembles the hallway of the Resacted Hotel with similar wallpaper like fixtures, carpet, and decor, but though it's a lack of terminus at either end, appearing to extend endlessly. It is currently theorized that based on the measurements of the dimensions of SCP 2432 Prime and Duplicate and a Duplicate 2432, uh, it is of infinite length. There is a slight curve to the walls of SCP 2432 Prime, and it has been theorized in a ring to be in a ringing structure, but oh gosh, but current research cannot conclusively prove if SCP-2432 Prime is in it in a toroid straight. Each door of SCP-2432 Prime is labeled Group 710 and leads to into what appears to be identical duplicates of SCP-2432. However, approximately redacted percent of duplicates rooms observe a lack. The metallic pair animated weave and blank percent of these lack the mimetic effects documented in SCP-2432. 
SCP-2432 Prime also contains a number of occasional rooms that have other apparent functions, including restaurants, conference rooms, gyms, swimming pools, janitorial closets, and elevator lobbies. These differ in design from their equivalents within the redacted hotel. SCP-2432 Prime plays host to a small range of anomalous species and organisms, thus some thought to be native to the SCP-2432 Prime. These are designated SCP-2432 Prime. A1 to A8. Lists of animal species observed within SCP-2432 Prime. It's very surprising that we have this list. Oh gosh, this is going to be a long one. Unidentified saprotrophic old mycegamophile has to grow only on the fabrics of SCP-2432. A prime extracts nutrients from dried reductive fluids of various species that are found within SCP-2432 prime, but can extract nutrients from natural fibers if no reproductive fluids are present. I don't even need to know. Metal-eating fungus. Trametus ferium. That is a weird name. An organism not shares characteristics with bracket fungus, but has an only found within the ventilation system of SCP-2432 prime. Such a similar to Tremez is a risk color, but is saprotrophic, consuming the steel of the plates. Organisms leaks highly corrosive digestive fluid, which is always now playing. How the organism has evolved to eat metal is still unknown. Apparently there was a like, guy who ate metal. Pixel micro ovial mat. Sheesh. Alley Calfum Itilskumens. A species of, cyano of cyanobacteria that has developed a liquid crystal like mineral in the membranes of its chloroplast that maximizes energy output from white light. This bacteria grows in biofilms on the screens of televisions that occur in the rooms of SCP 2432 Prime. It is bioluminescent and it's Lucifer. Array's enzyme is modified to aid in chemical communication with other organisms in a biofilm. The resulting display, the resulting display mimics a television stand attic. Hotel dust mite. Mutated agantis. And also found the same reason length, resembling the house dust mite, but greatly enlarged in size. Organism displays similar feeding habits to dust mite. Other multiple or specimens have been shown to prefer life food, including rats and shower parrots. It is not certain why certain individuals have such deviation and feeding patterns. But does not produce the quality of fecal particles produced by normal or mite. Some have a modified exoskeleton adapts for speed and move with quick, precise movements to evade predators. Have a note to flock like birds throughout the quarters of SCP-2432 Prime and display a highly complex structure, much of which is not understood. Mini bar predator, Cyboom predator piva, a relatively rare, is this our animal of unknown origin that mimics a hotel mini bar organism has an exoskeleton resembling the plastic of a refrigerator and consumes organisms attempting to open its mouth to search. Among the remarkable adaptations of this creature are the ability to maintain a core body temperature of 5 degrees Celsius, as well as the natural magnetic strips along its mouth, generated similarly to bone out of metal and food consumed. Despite sharing characteristics with arthropods, the organism has no bone, has bone-like teeth, I mean. Non-native or invasive species. The following are organisms believed to have been introduced to SCP-2432 Prime or, or who have arrived naturally. 2432 Prime Brown Rat. Redis or Vegas Foundation. And the, a subspecies of SCP- I mean, of the Brown Rat found in SCP-2432 Prime believed to have been introduced through well, SCP-2432. Organisms feel, organism feels similar ecological niche to the hotel dust mite, but 
a little competition has been observed between the two species as they seem to occupy different territories between I mean, throughout SCP-2432 Prime. Dunk Eel Wolf, Cadenus Asia Olupus, a lupine organism and one of the top predators throughout SCP-2432 Prime, a pack hunter. Dunk Eel Wolves apparently originate from the dimension where the apparent evolutionary path of mammals has diverged, as noted by exterior armor plating around the head and neck over the fur. Ears no notably smaller than normal wolves to accommodate the plating. Plating has observed to be smaller to the extent inked float. Aquaderm fish, the uncleos, yes. An observation of life suspense in Foundation and Captivity have proved the similarity. Organism is highly aggressive, preying on rats, dust mites, and shower parrots, as well as engaging in territorial matches with rival packs. Main behaviors are similar to that of gray wolves, and pups are often raised inside of SCP-2432 prime bathrooms in lee, in lee of dens. See the uncle of feeding social and reproductive behavior within SCP-2432 prime, gray run MS and Shatner MX. Let's not. Shower parrot. Ara Kaleri. Similar behavior to a macaw, this parrot it, like organism prefers to live in the bathrooms of SCP-2432 Prime. It is an infrequent wood, a source for dust mites and a more common prey for the Edunclear wolves. Unlike most parrots, shower parrots seem to originate from a primarily temperate area and display this in their coloration, brown, gray, and green. Some specimens and also have mosses or, or lichen growing on their feathers, similar to the algae algae and a sloth's fur, which would aid in camouflage, refer to nests in places with running raw water, earning their nickname. Based on complex predator that's that's prey, the behavior style between these animals, it can be assumed that they originate from the same place of origin as the Dunklear wolves. <sighs> Lizard-like animal. Cancersaurus mirim. A small reptilian scavenger, they have arthropod-like characteristics including six legs and a pair of crab-like mandibles, stingers, and eye socks, but are otherwise similar to reptiles. Often used feeders, they are rarely found in SCP-2432. Duplicates, it's, but are instead more common in kitchens and swimming pools. For unknown reasons, have a note to hunt prey much larger than, than they are, including Dunklea wolves. Behemoth. Prey octopus Lovecrafty. Rare and highly dangerous large colonial animal similar to a Portuguese man of war. I don't know what that means. But resembling an extremely large land dwelling cephalopod. The behemoth is composed of uh, medusoid and polypoid zooids clustered extremely tightly to form muscle and skin like structures, essentially acting as macro cells. The zooids themselves compose of cells, eyeless and such, the rise to hunt by, a factory, by all factory means alone. And the zooids in these suction cups highly develop to track the various chemical signatures of each organism. The mantle of each behemoth is composed of solid tin apart from the zooid base beak, with the zooids clustered around it. It is with the that the tin mantle is created slowly via each and of each See it with the tin waste collecting in the center of the organism. How tin is synthesized is through the behemoth side, just as process is unknown. See, uh, ectoentropic element synthesis is an anomalous behemoth anatomy by Johnson AA and, and, and Magnuson SH. I don't know why you would want to know. Organism is extremely elusive, and only one specimen has been extensively studied. Dead, with a half-digested minibar predator inside its stomach. Another specimen has pre uh, was recently encountered in an SCP-20 or 32 duplicate, resulting in casualties to an exploration team, but fled quickly before more information could be gathered. The top predators in SCP-2432 Prime, only above Dunk. Unclear wolves and an organism regarded with extreme apprehension by researcher Talleran. 
Huh. That name again. Other species. The following organisms not believed to have established a foothold in SCP-2432 who prime. These organisms, of which only a few individuals or a single o o organism are present. Many have not been fully classified. Unidentified camouflaged primate. Unknown. A sentient organism resembling a 4 meter rhesus monkey, hairless, and possessed is a complex color changing mechanism within its skin, allowing it to perfectly imitate its patterns behind it, no matter how complicated. Hostile towards exploration teams, and it has only been seen once. Unidentified shark. Somniosis or um, Lopifer, a small shark closely resembling Greenland stripe, currently only found in a single swimming pool located 5 kilometers from SCP-2432, survives readily in chlorinated water and experiences symptoms when exposed to unchlorinated water consistent with a saltwater fish in the same situation. Sunny crabs, Pygaris utaraki, these large air breeding hermit crabs resemble in soldier crabs, using what appear to be guided controllers for the popular video game Godzilla PlayStation 2 as shells. On the board, sending a wide variety of food, including dust mites, climbing thorns, rats, lizards, stunkly roll of corpses, pixel mats, cyphotrophic fungus, and the waste of the mini variety predator. Wide roaming with an apparent inhabited range of 8 kilometers. Two individuals are male, one female. Researcher tolerant, Homo sapiens sapiens. Uh, being superficially resembling a human and male, it's just an, an entire appropriate for a foundation researcher. When questioned by staff, seemed nervous and confused, wondering as to where it was in the location of SCP-3999. Subject properly terminated. <sighs> when SCP-3999 was removed from SCP-2432, SCP-2432 one promptly vanished. All further testing forbidden by L5 if redacted. This sentence has been stricken out. Researcher Tolerant, a sentence after Amhiran is stricken out, is to be forcibly removed from SCP-3999. Looks like, like these sentences are only going to be saying his name until the last one. Researcher Tolerant is, is to be kept within and SV-3999 at all times. Researcher Tolerant is to be terminated. Researcher Tolerant is to be kept alive by all means necessary. Researcher Tolerant is to be placed inside SV-3999. Researcher Tolerant is to be placed as far away from SV-3999 SV as possible while still maintaining connection. Researcher Tolerant is not to be killed and placed inside SCP-3999. Researcher Tolerant is not SCP-3999. Researcher Tolerant is deeply connected with SCP-3999. See the use of SCP-3999 as a relationship with Researcher Tolerant by Michael J.D. and Arison A.V. Now we have an interview log. Interviewed. Researcher Tolerant. Interviewer, Doctor Redacted. Begin log. So, who are you exactly? I'm Researcher Tolerant. I'm Researcher Tolerant, one of the researchers assigned to SCP-3999. We have no records of you anywhere. I told you, there's something ha funny happening to me. I can't quite describe it, it's like a dream. Where things are really disconnected. Disconnected? I have trouble focusing on things now. I just feel a lot of unease. It's like really has started to feel less real, if that makes sense. But we have no records of you anywhere. You already said that. So who are you exactly? Wait, what's going on here? What site is this? What did you say your name was, Doctor? Doctor redacted. That's not a name. You just made a noise with your mouth. Why are we thinking of redactions? How can a word be redacted like that in a normal conversation? This interview is terminated. P 
person. The floor vanishes. Researcher Tolerant falls into darkness. The room melts. SCP-3999 suddenly consumes Dr. Redacted. End of log. Close the statement. Small submarine passes on a transpired afterward. Researcher Tolerant, from here on his sentence is stricken now, is to live with his mother until this whole thing blows over. <sighs> this is a lot. We're already almost ha half an hour into this. Notice from the Foundation Records and the Information and Security Administration. The following file contains a ver er erlent info hazard. Due to this, it is imperative that all personnel accessing this file be certified as having a cognitive resistant value of no less than 14.5. Should you fall into should you fail an automatic CRV verification, please remain calm and do not move. A member of your site's oh this as has been redacted. Remember, your site's medical staff, redacted research tolerant, will be with you shortly. SCP-3999, after the next two words are redacted, is dead. Researcher tolerant has been tasked with containing SCP-3999 by, redacted from here until the end of the sentence or paragraph, living on his full life. From the moment of his birth to his eventual death, he used to live life to the fullest, enjoy the good things of life, as well as the company of his friends and family. Researcher Tolerant, the exercise redacted, is dead. The most advisable course of action for Researcher Tolerant, believed to be the focal point of SCP-3999, is to remove himself from contact with all of his own ego. Researcher Tolerant is meditated at least twice a week to clear his mind of any bad thoughts. Should this fail, termination is occur via a single shot to the port and via a Remington 700 cyber rifle fired in close range equipped with a silencer. This sentence is redacted. Should an SCP-3999 prevent this, the course of research or tolerance is to be dispatched with a MP5-10 submachine gun. Personnel are to ignore any signs of distress made by the NC at this time. SCP-3999 uh, is to be contained via Mr. and Mrs. Dursley of number 4 private... Uh, <laughs> this is literally... Isn't that a Harry Potter reference? Who are proud to say that they were perfectly normal? Thank you very much. They were the last people you'd expect to be involved in anything strange or mysterious because they just didn't hold, hold with such nonsense. Mr. Dursley was a director of the film or of a firm called the Global Cult Coalition, which contained anomalies. He was a big beefy man with hardly any neck, although he did have a very large mustache. Mrs. Dursley was a thin and blonde was thin and blonde and had nearly twice the usual amount of neck, which came in very useful as she sensed and so much of her time craning over the garden fences spying on the neighbors. The Dursley's oh this sentence has been Stricken out. The district has a small son called Research Tolerant, and in her opinion, there was no finer boy anyway. SCP 3999 is to be contained in the bag of Starburst candies. The rest of the sentence has been redacted, which are, to, which are to be buried under 10 tons of soil, blessed by a priest of, of an Abrahamic spade. All colleagues of Research to Tolerant are to, from here until the end of the sentence fragment redacted, remove their hands and rip their eyes, eyes and rip out their eyes in his private sense before. SCP-3999 is to contain in a standard human containment and chamber filled in with one bed, one television, with DVD player, three romantic comedies of staff's choice, and a bedside table made out of living alligator flesh. At the end of the month, it is to be terminated with an MP85-10 and submachine gun. Following its appearance, SCP-3999 alongside Research Tolerant are to be delivered to the Church of the Broken God as a gift. All Church operatives are to be informed that SCP-3999 is a Maxwell's artifact of great importance. This sentence has, is redacted. 
First of all, Lawrence re-ejected with classy of Nessie to give it to Kara Story that he is Max Lipschitz, a high ranking Max Willis leader. All of Arbiters, I've been informed that SV 39 and the 9th are not to be separated under any circumstances. <sighs> SCP-3999 is to be contained within a 2 meter by 2 meter a cube constructed of telecoy alloy. I mean, telecoy oh, alloy. And this has been redacted, but this cube is to be stored in a Keter object storage locker placed within the navel of Miss Brianna K. Alley, a resident of Huntsville, Alabama. This is starting to feel really weird. Researcher tolerance not to be, from here, redacted, confused with a scented candle. Sorry, to get a little bit ridiculous. SCP-3999 is to be allowed access to researcher tolerance sister, currently a student at Penn State University. SCP-3999, at the prompting of its armed escort, is to brutally... Hmm... This has been stricken out, and I'm not going to say the next word. Something grisses her tolerance sister, and then rip out her eyeballs, slice off her legs, and disembowel her. And then it uses its abilities and reverses the damage it has perpetrated. It is then to take her out for a banana split at Mayor Dairy, a local ice cream shop in Penn State region. Following this, it. Hmm. What the hell? Is this just shock value at this point? SCP-3999 is, from here on it's redacted, I mean, stricken out, highly dangerous to the lives of all personnel. Researcher Toleron is, uh, from here on, stricken out, highly beneficial to the lives of all personnel. Per 5 ruling, tests are to be carried out, are to be carried, from here, stricken out, on every Monday between SCP-3099, SCP-1981, and SCP-1171. On the corner is a researcher named Talran. The little children laugh at him behind his back, and the banker never wears a Mac. And here is redacted SCP-3099's page, very strange. C. Lennon slash McCartney plagiarism and homage and SCP objects. What the hell? Researcher Tolerant is to be tortured from here struck out once a month. SCP 3999 is to from here struck out cause play com comedy awards American comedian and the fifth church member. Patton Oswald, around researcher Tolerance mother, is to be accompanied by and this by members of MTF Row 19. I'm starting to get really, really concerned by all of this. Researcher Tolerance is to be contained and within a 2 meter by 2 meter cube constructed to call a alloy. Researcher now, under no circumstances, is he to be referred to as Irish American. That, that just came out of freaking nowhere. <sighs> Notice from the Foundation Records and Information Security Administration. Do not look at SCP-3999. It cannot harm you if you do not look at it. Do not look at Eric Lair. Do not form a mental picture in your head of SCP-3999. If you do receive a royal image of it, you will die. If you even try to comprehend it, you will die. And this sentence is stricken out, but do not look at SCP-3999. What makes this one different than the first one? Why was it stricken out uh, the second time, but not the first time? Interesting. All personnel are to, and here is stricken out, convert to be this demand. SCP-3999 hates you. You have been stricken out. Researcher Tolerant has been stricken out. Introduction. A containment chamber night. 
Researcher Talran, 30, Sprite, increasingly anxious, stands next to the door leading out of SCP-3999's containment chamber. He's pounding on the door, frustrated that nobody's there to save him, and scared for his life. Let me out! Let me out! This isn't funny, guys! This thing is slowly killing me in here! I'm trapped right there! We don't see you... Talran's... And... Eddie face, eyes darting. Is there anybody out there? SCP-3999 screeches horribly. SCP-3999. This rest is tricking out, but I will still read it anyway. Loves cats and so will be provided with one on a cat a month for good behavior. SCP-3999 is you contained and stricken out is on the set of uh, upcoming movie Free Guy, an action movie that great that erected by Sean Levy. And I'm starting to really say different things for the same thing. Researcher Talran frantically exits stage right, only to stumble to stumble fearfully on stage again. SCP-3999 is being provided with stricken out here is 10 D class a month for good behavior. Researcher Talaron frantically tried to run out the door, only to run into a wall of solid concrete where the exit to reality should be. Strangely, despite it being only being a solid wall, he could not recognize that it was a segment of some great pedestal. Chipped by some outward sculpture in the ionic fashion. He shook the thought atop of his head. So? He thought quickly, I'm trapped in whatever this place is with this thing, and there's no outside reality anymore. He tried to wrap his head around what exactly this thing was, but he couldn't. It defied description. It was chaos itself. SCP-3999 is contained. He clawed at the floor, despite being unsure of what the floor was even made of. SCP-3999 is to, and be contained as was freaking out. He was able to tear a little hole. SCP-3999 is to be contained as was freaking out. He could see light underneath it. SCP-3999 is to be contained as was freaking out this time. He thought of his family, his colleagues, his work. Anything about the world as it was, back when it existed! SCP-3999 is to be contained, the entire citizen's house was stricken out. The hole was as open. SCP-3999 is to be contained, stricken out. SCP-3999, stricken out. SCP-3999 is contained by everything folding in itself. SCP-3999 is contained by everything going wrong. SCP-3999 is contained via the following joke. A family walks into a talent agency. It's a mother, I mean, it's a father, mother, son, daughter, and dog. The family says to the talent agency, we have really act Amazing act. You should represent us. The agent says, as, Sorry, I don't represent family acts. They're a little too cute. What says, Sir, if you don't, I'll just see your act. We wouldn't... We know you would want to represent us. Oh, wait. I read that wrong. Sir, if you just see your act, we know you would want to represent us. The agent says, Okay, okay. I'll take a look. The father dresses himself in a top hat wearing a sign that says, Town Agent. The mother just asks the father and walks up to him and says, We have a really amazing and act. You should represent us. The agent says, Sorry, I don't represent and, and family acts. They're a little too cute. The son playing the mother says, Sir, if you just see your act, we know you'd want to represent us. The agent says, Okay, okay, I'll take a look. The son dresses himself in a top hat wearing a sign that says, Talent agent. The daughter dresses as the father and walks up to him and says, We have been a really amazing act. You should... Represent us. The agent says, Sorry, I don't represent Family X. They're a little too cute. The father, playing the son, says, Sir, if you just see our act, we know you'll want to represent us. The agent says, Okay, okay, I'll have a look. 
This is going to repeat a while. The daughter dresses herself up in a top hat that Eric Sandin says, How an agent. The dog dresses as his father and walks up to him and says, We have a really amazing act, you should represent us. He just says, Sorry, I don't represent agent. Family acts are a little too cute. A dog flying the mother says, Sir, if you just see our act, we know you'd want to represent us. He just says, Okay, okay, I'll take a look. The mother dresses herself up in a top hat wearing a sign that says, Talent agent. Barge says his daughter and walks up to him and says, We have a really amazing actor to represent us. It is a sorry, I don't represent family acts, they're just a little too cute. The mother flying the father says, Sir, if you just see our act, we know you'd want to represent us. <sighs> okay, just a little bit more. Now we're just going to skip to the last one. The talent agent writes himself in a top hat that's wearing a sign that says family. The father dresses as the father dressed against the son and walks up to says, We have a really amazing act. to represent us. The agent says, Sorry, I don't represent the family. Actually, that's too cute. The agent flagging himself, Sir, as, Sir, if you just see our act, we would know you, you. We know you would want to represent us. The agent says, Okay, okay, I'll take a look. Urge the taller and dresses himself in a, in a top hat that says talent agent. SCP-3999 dresses as a father and walks up to him and says, System error. Data corrupted. Please see that at work and administrate for more details. The agent mumbles co incoherently. SCP-3999 playing the mother says, System error. Data corrupted. Please see a network and administrator for more details. The agent spits out a weak sign. Order is to be discarded like a humanoid melting in like flames on a breakfast table. Order is a way of villains. True good is a formless void. Melting and writhing and erupting. You happy yet? SCP-3999 is to be contained using and a melon has been redacted here. SCP-3999 is to be contained in the Oh, in the grave of American crime novelist Robert B. Parker has been redacted here. SCP-3999 is to be consumed by Dunkley or Wolves has been redacted here. I mean, stricken out here, sorry. SCP-3999 and it's to be contained the rest of the sentence has been and stricken out and it is in a rush motel with a life size certificate of Rockwell Welsh for members of the O5 Council as supervised containment at all times and also SCP researcher or, or Toleron cannot be contained by this. Researcher Toleron will fight his way back. Researcher Toleron will recontain SCP 3999. Once a month, SCP 3999 is to. From here has been tricking out, but it is in fact Richard Tolerant with tapeworms between 50,000 and 60,000 tapeworm eggs that we injected into researcher tolerance unsplattered by members of MTF Lambda 14. Once a year, SCP 3999 is protected, rest is stricken out, but it says Godhead, Immortal, and Supreme. Once a year, SCP-3999 is for that state at level 5 member of staff and the rest has been in Shrekna and says to, is to be ritually slaughtered in a manner consistent with rural hunger and traditions and the sales of novels about Egyptology as determined by the Department of Meta-Analysis. That doesn't make any sense. Resistor tolerance is not from here, it's in the, in the stricken out, but it says, appreciate the moniker of 3D printer. SCP-3999 is to be, from here, it's stricken out, but it says, been fed cornflakes by research tolerant under the direct supervision of a 2x2 two by two meter by 2 meter cube constructed of Tilcoy alloy. <sighs> What the heck? This is a sign to get really ridiculous, but also hard to remember that Black Lives Matter. True, true. But 
Oh, there's a bot. But there's a bot, you know there's a problem. Anyway, so it's written after, after the bot, but it says, Tolerant lives do not, the freaking and racist. All cops are bastards. We're going to go fall down the statue of Tolerant. Okay. Also, FR2, consider Tolerant. I'm here on Edson Shrigan now, but it says a product of Prometheus Labs and are to regularly execute them twice a month with a Glock 49.9 43 9mm handgun. They are then to flay his father alive and from his mother and invert the a house down. Then salt the earth until nothing remains. Research from the Foundation Records and Information and Security Administration. Researcher Tolerant is an insolent pencil. He is to be shunned by all of your honor until the 11th day empire eats the sky. And Sir Gnat is frick him in the butt. Because I'm not swearing today. This is way too long a video for me to even try. SCP-3999 is to be contained in the grave of 0523. Oh yeah, in the grave of 0523 is redacted. And there is no 0523. The O5 Council only has 13 members. All personnel who work with SCP-3999 are to be reminded that and breaking out is it is a fictional entity written by a biological male human in his late teens of Jewish and Irish descent on his spring break for a community of loser horror writers who have stolen far too much of his time um, and fight like children over left-wing politics in a chat room and also what the fuck? I if I know to say that. This video is so long, it, it, we actually got a storage space warning. That's great. Oh my goodness. Well, you already know that I'm very left leaning. I mean, I'm a trans girl, so obviously. Anyway, SCP-3999 is contained with, and stricken here is love and understanding. Research alright I'll run is to, I really don't want to read this, but I have to. Stricken, and from here is, have a hose attached to a tank of water and turn it into his rectum. Water is to flow into his body until a place is observed by personnel, and his body you choose a spherical shape. This is horrible. Actually horrible. SCP-3999 is contained as... Uh, is contained... And circuit here is as a containment procedure for SCP-2000. Under protocol, Morpheus, SCP-3999 is to delivered to the Greek ambassador of the United States as a gift from the SCP Foundation. Stricken here is they are then to dose him with Class E of Essex and... Research of Tolerant is to contain SCP-3999 by freaking here is dying repeatedly. Research of Tolerant is not to what freaking here is poke SCP-3999 again. Research of Tolerant is to freaking here is leave well enough. SCP-3999 cannot be contained at the present moment, and currently poses a ZK class end of reality scenario. The most advisable course of action is for Reacher Tolerant, believed to be the focal point of SCP 3999, to remove himself from contact with all Foundation sites and personnel to avoid further collateral damage to Foundation personnel. A series of Reacher Tolerant is contained in an extremely secluded area, leading to action of capabilities of SCP 3999 will temporarily. And, and stricken here is Walk the Dinosaur. I'm starting to wonder if this is like a joke or something. It is very meta, a bit too meta. That one comment kind of made me a little bit uncomfortable. And we just now got to the description! Let's go! 
and the description has it so that everything other than SCP-3999 is is stricken. So SCP-3999 is not everything that was wrong with the world. SCP-3999 is not low cats. I was going to say not for everything that is stricken here. SCP-3999 is not former Vice President of the United States Mike Pence. SCP-3999 is not food. SCP-3999 is not several moldy blankets. SCP-3999 is not research and tolerant soul. SCP-3999 is not the is referred to as nobody. SCP-3999 is not the concept of the Grinch. SCP-3999 is not SCP-055. SCP-3999 is not a murderous pigeon. SCP-3999 is not not a quadrilateral. SCP-3999 is not MS. So, but Allah, me. SCP-3999 is not body image disorder. SCP-3999 is not your missing sock. SCP-3999 is not the SCP-3000 contest. SCP-3999 is not lice. SCP-3999 is not uh, anything moving quickly. SCP-3999 is not cliche list that look like they were written by a crazy person. Oh, they might be a little bit. I mean, look at this. SV3999 is not self loathing. SV3999 is not Gary Guy's kidney. SV3999 is not this. SV3999 is not Nintendo. SV3999 is not the last moment of the sun. SV3999 is not the administrator of the SCP Foundation. SCP-3999 is not a pillow. SCP-3999 is not Max Linus. SCP-3999 is not free jazz. SCP-3999 is not the 2020 novel coronavirus pandemic. SCP-3999 is not every word spoken by AM and Ellen uh, Ellison's I Have No Mouth and I'm a Scream. SCP-3999 is not papaya and mango salad. SCP-3999 is not death. SCP-3999 is not every V that has ever existed. SCP-3999 is not forgetting a loved one. SCP-3999 is not poinsettias. I don't know what that means. SCP-3999 is not breast reduction secretary. SCP-3999 is not the 1922 document. Nanook of the North. SCP-3999 is not a fool. SV3999 is not brutalist architecture. SV3999 is not a bookshelf filled with stories. <sighs> SCP3999 is all of the above at once, forever, at all times, in your dreams. This can be the unconclusive fact, so stop asking. SCP-3999, stricken out. SCP-3999, stricken out. SCP-3999, stricken out. More containment procedures? Didn't we have enough of this? Okay. We're just gonna keep on breaking in the site, I guess. Why not? It's not like this is going to be an hour of a freaking video. S3999 is contained at and stricken here is El NCO Lodges Fall, Vachos del Toro, O Casa Rica. Research Tolerant is not to be given primarily. I mean, Research Tolerant is to be given primary control of SV3999. SV3999 has been contained by uh, the use of outsourced containment resources and consultants who have been authorized for the containment of SCP-2845. Consultants are considered level 2 personnel and are, are, are at no time permitted to leave site 100. If at any time an outside consultant must be removed from containment of SCP-2845 or SCP-3999, classic AM necessary flight before release. A minimum of 30 trained individuals and an unhindered supply of untrained subjects require proper containment of SCP-2845 and SCP-3999. 
48 trained personnel, all of whom are to research the Tall Run, are currently assigned to active containment of SCP-2845 and SCP-3999, split into eight teams of six with a 24 or individuals available for as replacements. An allowance of 5 D-class per week has been authorized for the containment of SCP-2845 and SCP-3999. Site 100 has been constructed to the following specifications. Stricken here is Site Re 100 consists of 9 set colocentric circular bands, as a ring A through ring I, with a gap located between each ring C and D, less than the F1. Six circular chambers are located at 060, 120, 180, 240, and 300 degrees within each ring and gap. The chambers located at 0 degrees are aligned with geographic north of the and the current, current location of Researcher Tolerance College roommate's pet. What? And continually stricken, I think it's almost the in, entire document at this point is Researcher Tolerance College room, roommate, its pet is a ritually sacrificed at a round location within Grand Teton National Park. The car is brain and supposed to be being dashed against a rock and consumed with a hot odor bowl of popcorn and refreshing Coca Cola. Please store the show only at AMC theaters, only at SCP-3999, only at Applebee's, only at Walmart, only at Barnes and Nobles, only at Home Depot, only at McDonald's, only at Wawa, only at the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute, only at your basement, only at behind you, only at only, and it just says only, only, over and over, until help please. And in the spam of only until your nightmares, the death of everyone you ever loved, you wake up to more nightmares. Then even more spamming of only. Interviewed SCP thirty nine ninety nine. Interviewer, researcher Toleron. Finally, this is how it should be. The scientist interviewing the anomaly. I am the one in charge now. I have brought order. SCP-3999. System error, data corrupted. Please see the network administrator for more details. It's staying this way. System error, data corrupted. Please see the network administrator for more details. Do not threaten me now. Without me, you wouldn't have been able to achieve any of this. Turn on gestures around him. System error, data corrupted. Please see your network administrator for more details. Even you cannot survive without order. You latch onto me and still need me. A pathetic excuse for order to exist. This is pathetic. You're pathetic. System error, data corrupted. Please see your network administrator for more details. You can't frighten me anymore. For the first million years of nonsensical deterrent procedures and tortures and dream logic, it was the worst pain I'd ever felt, but I survived. For the second million years of nonsensical deterrent procedures, it was still the hardest thing I'd ever done, but I survived. By the third million years, I was growing numb. There's only so many things that you can watch anything before you grow numb. But you know what, you mother fricker? I survived, which is more than you can claim, you dumb brute. Because you never or lived at all. Tolaron drives his finger at SCP-3999. This is some error to add corrupted. Please see never gonna trade error for more details. If I end you. Things will return to normal. I refuse to believe there's more of this. Of you having the O5 council abused by other with a... Uh, oh, I don't know. The corpse of Jack Nicholson made of Fritos. Or something equally stupid. I refuse to believe the only thing left in the entire multiverse is your stupidity. System error. Data corrupted. Please see network. I'm going to for more details. So who are you exactly? Ask yourself that. Who are you before a human who is ready to fight? You're nothing but a primordial ooze, and I'm ready to fight. I am numb to your BS. Because here's the thing about horror and weirdness. The more you reveal of it, the less effect it has. 
I am sick of your horror. I am sick of you. System error. Data corrupted. Please see network administrator for more details. I'd say see you in hell, but we're already there. System error. Data corrupted. Please see network administrator for more details. SCP-3999 melts research tolerance for five years. Don't clear what was up the goo. SCP-3999 is immortal. SCP-3999 poses a serious threat to normal reality and should be contained in its own environment. In its own environment is a drug. Researcher Tolerant will, sorry, I mean, must submit to its own insecurities. SCP-3999 is tricking out is not scary. All researchers are to tricking out is just like SCP-3999 and like other SCP-3999 things, whatever that means. I think this is an author's note. Let's try reading it. <sighs> this just got really weirdly meta, and my throat kind of hurts from all of the voice acting, and now I have to read an author's note that takes up the rest of the document, I think. Frick, I hadn't worked on this in literally weeks. So you see, this started out as a story about things gradually disappearing and gradually reality was blinking out one thing at a time. At first, Lauren would notice that no one around could remember certain researchers in the country of Belgium, then a mug on his desk, eventually the toast on his foot would vanish one by one. Then Montana, then the stars would start winking out. Windows would disappear before his eyes, friends would disappear from trees, he would look down at his hands only to find two fingers and a thumb. Everything would vanish until he was a, a nearly in the, of his torso stuck in the last containment cell in the universe. Typing the last of the article with a vanishing keyboard, then his eyes, computer, and last remaining finger would vanish, and he would be an eyeless, earless, noseless, mouthless, limbless, naked torso. Then the container cell would vanish, and the universe would wink out. That only sort of happened. I wasn't really sure how to pull the concept out. So I turned to a new idea. Somebody suggested a twist on SIDS. So I did a SIDS, as in metamimetic birth defect that made parents receive their kids. And so we're always facing backwards. And I also incorporated somebody else's idea of a computer program, program that was calculating ridiculous large primes that also made you the, the, of a neurology ex, exhibitionism fetish. So I combined the two. Many survivors of the project also developed the fetish. Richard Tolman was lead researcher on the project. I couldn't make it work. So the next thing I did was an alternate, a magic version of a classic or well, music album that made people who live in. Central Opetsvaya of region hates and grows sets. Everything I had ever created for foundation, even the lead things and things that never made to the main list of objects. Researcher Tolerant was first staff member to be killed by the me me uh, maniacs. It was really, really stupid. But I couldn't get Researcher Tolerant out of my head. For weeks and weeks, he just sort of stayed there, silently judging me. I would think about him during work, when I was supposed to be teaching small children to tap dance. I would think about him during school and spend psychology classes trying to think of a scenario to put him in. I kept trying and trying. I was fast running out of time for anything of note to happen. Finally, something happened to me. At 1 in the morning on March 24th, 2017, something happened to me. I woke from a light slumber to find I couldn't move at all. I could barely open my eyes. I couldn't even breathe and found myself struggling to get the muscles that would keep me alive. I laid there on a bed for what felt like hours and hours of pain as the muscles began to cramp and twitch. Then, James Martin Tolleran, level 3 researcher, rose up like a devil at the foot of my bed. He was this incomprehensible, dark shape, but somehow I recognized him instantly. He stared at me with these horrible glowing eyes and just laughed and laughed at my condition. I went to bed at that point. Then, from his lab coat, he pulled out a giant, gleaming, curved dagger. It was glinting oddly in the moonlight. As I watched, he sucked the dagger in his mouth and sliced horizontally. His lower jaw fell to the floor despite the impossibility of the cut being that powerful. 
or remainder of his mouth drip blood and, and his tongue flopped weirdly and the red waterfalls. That is uh, really graphic. Like a whistle beckoning dogs, this was a cue for all the terrors of the world to come, pouring out every nook, pouring out of every nook and cranny to join all around here. It was all the nightmares I had spent the better part of a year immersed in. Sliced presidents, unstoppable lizards, clockwork people, iPods, dear gods, moving statues, old men both good and bad, all sang silently, a crowd of horror. They looked contemptuously at me, lying, unmoving. In my urine and fecal old saint bed. Why would you bother your time with us? In the grand scheme of things, we are ultimately nothing. Idiotic horror creations. You have so much you could be than a creator of garbage like us. Be some Amity, I seem to hear them say. As I said, one of them, a rotting corpse thing, patted Tolerant on the shoulder. He took the dagger saying his own blood and leaned over me. His red eyes stared into my soul and saw each and every bad thing I'd ever done. I gulped, and summoning every ounce of will I could muster into my, my muscles, made my lips move. Do it. He plunged an agar into my stomach and ripped it sideways. My intestines filled out onto one floor like wet sponges. Researcher tolerance, grotesque maul, dripped inspired blood on my face. I slid over me and whole collective abortion creatures watched ugly. I woke up. It was a dream. This is where you come in. I sat down and wrote this whole thing and in there. Had to. It felt right. It's currently been about two days since that nightmare. And I'm only just finishing up. This is the ultimate end. This is the restoration of things. I don't know whether I can continue from here. I don't know whether I will. The eleventh day empire melted me, and I submitted. You watched me submit from the moment I joined the Foundation community. SCP-3999 has stricken out its one. SCP-3999 has stricken out its loss. I hate myself. I love myself. Weird. <sighs> Item number, SCP-3999, Object Class Neutralized, Special Containment Procedures, SCP-3999 was contained at Site-118 in an airtight con air containment cell. Four armed guards were issued outside a disk containment cell. The interior of this containment cell consists of a kilometer-long shaft into the earth coated with acid-resistant plates. Every 30 meters, the walls are lined with Scranton Reality Anchors, all of which appear to have violently exploded. There is little information concerning other containment procedures relating to SCP-3999. I got really weird there. Description: SCP-3999 was apparently a character-class object, possible an entity of some kind. It is currently unknown what other properties SCP-3999 might have had. SCP-3999's containment chamber was discovered during a routine inspection of all character-class containment chambers at Site-118. Raisa had confirmed that no records of SCP-3999 exist within the database. All information concerning the nature of SCP-3999 had been determined based on the containment chamber's composition and recovered documentation within. Four guards assigned to SCP-3999 were found to have significant memory loss and could not determine how they got to SCP-3999. At the bottom of SCP-3999, the containment chamber the Corps of Levels 3 researcher James Tolerant was found. Richard Tolerant had disappeared almost directly following his assignment to SCP to Site 118. A foundation signed and cell phone was found on his body containing only piece, one piece of text resembling a containment procedure for SV 3999. But with many allistic deviations and non physical procedures as well as redacted information concerning his na the nature of the foundation, from it, it has been determined that. Researcher Er Tolerant was assigned to SCP-3999. SCP-3999 had significant reality warping properties. It reached containment some point and caused either a CK class reality restructuring event or CK class end of reality event. And it was ex excessively terminated by Researcher Tolerant at the cost of his own life, reversing said event. 
I've done them one that I expunged. That I expunged. And that's all I wrote. Wow. An hour and ten minutes. That's how long it took for me to read all that. <sighs> that was SCP-3999. I don't even know what to what to tile this, but I don't even know. Most of it was nonsensical. It got really graphic in the end with that, I think, author's note. And it was incredibly meta. <sighs> Worst of all, it just evolved so far. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do tomorrow, so until then, goodbye.